Hello everyone, welcome to the Watchtower, and today we are going to be going over the pre-order information for the new Tweeterheads Joker on Throne one fourth scale statue. So they already released this as one six scale, um, like in May of last year. They also have a pre-order one six scale. Uh, they just announced not too long ago they're going to do one fourth scale version of it. So they brought the information out and everything yesterday. Um, it's going up for pre-order this Thursday, April 21st. So I wanted to jump on, jump on here, do an updated, um, short and sweet, uh, re, uh, overview of it. I'm not going to go into too much detail because I already pretty much gave my thoughts on, uh, the piece when they, uh, you know, when I did my last video where it got released in 1.6 scale, same statue, it's just gonna be bigger in 1.4 scale. Um, I have that one on pre-order, so, you know, spoilers, I really, really like that piece. I think it looks really, really great, so I'm excited to get it in. Um, so we are gonna go over this and everything, and let's go to the pictures right now. All right, everyone, so here we have the pictures for this guy, and he's looking awesome. I mean, they got that, uh, Joker, you know, sitting on the throne, um, you know, with all the bags of money and everything and all the little Easter eggs around him. He's looking really, really cool. Uh, this piece is, this is a big piece. It's going to be 26 inches tall, 20 inches wide, and 19 inches deep. So it's going to have a big, big footprint. So make sure, guys, you measure accordingly and you have a really good place to put this. Um you know, when you get it in, so you have a place to put it because it's, it's, it's a massive piece. It's going to take up a lot of room. And in the one four scale, they are only selling it all inclusive. So they are not giving you an option of uh, exclusive or collector's edition. You can only get the exclusive, all inclusive one. So it comes with everything. So it comes with both head sculpts, both uh, different hands. This one comes with everything. I know some people are like want the option to choose or whatever, but hey, just be happy they're making it in one fourth at all. Take the win. You know, pick this up. You're gonna want it more in exclusive anyway. I have an exclusive for one sixth. You're gonna want an exclusive for this. So like I said, it has comes with two different head sculpts. The more of the the more of the like the evil smirk, and then the the smile. And then also there's two different hand sculpts, the one holding the playing cards and then the other one holding the straight razors. So you have some different some different options on how to display this and everything. So like I said, this is a really, really great looking piece and obviously it's gonna look really well paired with the Harley Quinn statue in one fourth that they just put up for pre-order. Those two are gonna look really, really good together. So yeah, um, excited for anybody who's gonna get this piece in. All right, everyone, so that was the pictures. What are we thinking? Are we loving this? I, for one, absolutely adore this piece. I think it looks so awesome. I think it's such a great Joker piece. Like I said before, I'm getting it in one six scale. Um, if you already have it in one six scale and you want to switch to one fourth, you can email Tweeterhead um, at chad at tweeterhead.com. Um, and you can say, hey, I want to switch this over to one fourth and they can get that done for you. Or you can you can contact uh, Sideshow Customer Service and they can probably help you out there as well. If you want to switch from 1.6 to 1.4, I'm going to keep it in 1.6. Um, it's just, I, I like it in 1.6. It's got a ton of detail and everything. It's a little bit more um, space friendly too in 1.6. It's going to be a big piece in 1.6 as well, but I wouldn't have a place to store it in 1.4 at the, the size it's taking up. So we're going to stick with 1.6 for it. Um, I think it looks, like I said before, absolutely absolutely awesome it's such a great looking piece um like i said before it goes up for pre-order tomorrow april 21st at 9 a.m pacific standard time noon eastern standard time only on sideshow.com as of the recording of this video there is no price released yet for it um i think they're gonna wait and reveal the price when it goes up for pre-order they're not saying it beforehand um i guess they're still ironing that stuff out trying to figure out a price it's it's going to be expensive the first one was 580 dollars for one sixth i'm assuming this one's probably going to be $800 or so. I'm just ball. I'm just guessing, but I bet it's going to be around 800 with the way things have gone recently with prices going up and everything. And this being one fourth and being such a big piece, I'm going to guess it's going to be about $800 for this. 
but such a so let me go know guys in the comments you know what your thoughts are are you picking this up are you not picking it up do you have the one six scale version you're gonna stick with that what's the plan um i'm excited to see you know this goes up for pre-order and stuff and hear from you guys and what you guys think of it and everything and, and the price when we, when we see what the price is a lot of people are saying it's gonna be over a thousand dollars i don't think it's gonna be over a thousand dollars crazy talk not with um kind of what twitter has been doing with their other pieces and stuff and their other one one four scale stuff they've been releasing i'm gonna guess around eight hundred dollars um but guys that's it that's it that's the information about it thank you all so so much for watching please like comment and subscribe and i will see you the next time i log in for modern duty up here in the watchtower